Okay, an app I haven't used in a hot minute. So I just thought I'd mess with it a little bit, which is uh, Neon Radio. So what I did was I used Radio AU. You've seen me use that Nintendo uh, station. And I decided to record into Neon. Neon reminds me of like Cool Edit, but of course it's got a lot of new features and things you can do in here. There's all kinds of stuff. I'm not gonna get into everything, but warp mode is something I really enjoy in here. So what I did was I tapped tempo up here in AUM. I sit there and tapped out what I think based on just the playing. Then what I did was I hit warp, hold down warp rather, set it to the same, see it should be set to the same tempo. So let's set it to 115. But because I make sure that the sync is on, it takes it and warps it and brings it in with the other tempo. So it's time, right? So it looks good. So now you hold down loop and it'll automatically make a loop for you. Hit the media bay and go ahead and save it. Now I got it in here as new recording one, just because for some reason, now it comes up, of course. <laughs> so we'll call it Radio, Radio Nintendo. We'll call it Radio Nintendo One. So there it is. You can send it to Audio Share. You can sh just hit Share if you want, but you got to select the track, which I didn't do. Select the track, hit Share, send it to where you want it. Let's say I wanted to send it to Koala which I did already. And then here's some parts. I did a little split stem of that. So cool, got some cool drum pieces. bass sound, whatever. I'm gonna chop that up, crop that. Cool. Sorry about all the noise, family's home, you know, that's part of, part of living. Okay. Here's the more important part of it. So I'm not going to keep that. I can make my own drums. This is the only part I actually really care about. I'm going to chop it up, see what I come up with. Um, let's, set, let's do this. Oh, it came in at 115 because it's connected. I guess it's linking up with uh, here, which is fine. I'm not tripping on it right now. All right, so go in. I'm going to do auto chop. Fifty-two chops. That is a bit much. I was thinking maybe sixteen. You know why do they always? One thing is I don't like how they all are spaced out at the same spot. Like spread them things out a little bit. Maybe a chop over here. I do want that one there. Maybe one here. And then these feet. I'm going to put a chop here. I'm literally randomly putting these chops, by the way. I'm not like, have no rhyme or reason for what I'm doing. But I do want one right here. Move that one back to about right there. All right, cool. I'm going to one shot all of these. And I'm not so stressed about keeping the original, but we will this time just for the sake of it in case. And I will put these all on choke group one just to be sure. There we go.
Okay. All right, I see something in there that's possible. I'm gonna, um, I love the swap feature now. It's kind of, so I'm gonna swap that. That'll be better than me deleting it in case I do want to come back. I'm gonna put that one there and then I'm gonna swap this one here. Cool. swap with that one and what's cool is hopefully you guys are seeing this so i'm just putting together the idea of how i would play it like uh personally this one i'm gonna swap there and i'm gonna get rid of this for for the reason that i need to move something around that's the only reason why i'm getting rid of it uh this one i'm gonna move here so I can make this faster. Let's see. Okay, so there's the chops. Sorry if my screen went out. I'm trying to do stuff I would do without recording, right? Get rid of three at a time. You can hold multiples in case you didn't know that. I'm sure most of y'all know that though. Anyway. So this is kind of cool. Let's sequence something. Maybe do four bars. Oh, that thing is way out. Uh, oh, you know why? Because it's linked. Hold on a second. So anyway, let me unlink this by doing this. Just close that out. I don't really care. I'm just showing you something. That's all. All right, let's see if it's, it's still saying it's linked. Okay, do this. Sometimes you have to do that, then reopen it. There you go. All right, so now let's try to set four. Definitely messed up in there. I don't mind though. I'm trying to see. It's really hard to um, on the iPad Mini sometimes when you're trying to. Okay, that one's off. Let's see, there's a part of the problem right there. Okay. So I definitely wish this one was a little bit longer. It's almost there though. It meets pretty good. I think I can you can always fill the gap with something. See how it cuts off a little too soon. So let's see, go into the sample. Is there a way to stretch it? Negative. Not even just a little bit, whatever. I'll take anything at this point just to see. Okay, because if you got other instruments coming in, it'll probably fill fill the gap there. So that's not a big deal. Sorry about my hand going in front, but this is an iPad Mini, and I'm trying to keep the screen as close as I can. Okay, so there's like a little riff for a four bar, right? 
then I'm just going to bring in. So the point of this video is just to show you that Neon is a pretty cool app. I love the drag and drop on it. You know, not all apps have it, but it does. And so it's kind of nice to be able to use that, grab something really quickly, warp that thing, right? To make it real tight right there. And you can see where it should hit the transients. And by seeing that in Neon, it's gonna it helps you to set the right tempo for it. Cause this could have taken me forever. I can try to make it fit and stretch it in here. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But if I can get it to warp it in something else before I get here, then when I get in here, it's not even an issue at all. At this point, it's just creating, right? So now you get to the point where you just say, all right, I'm gonna bring in, close that out, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring, I don't wanna talk on that. I'm gonna bring in some drums, something simple, get out of cymatics, find some, the drums, maybe. I'm not trying to spend all night on this. One. We'll go with that one. Go to the snares. And this probably sound, sounds terrible because Mind you, it's coming through the mini, iPad mini speaker, not even a pro speaker, but whatever. Just for the sake of messing around. All right, one shot all these drums. Sometimes I like to, like if it's all extra bright, same thing there. I use the tone a lot, as you should, right? Trying to make it, shape it to the best of your ability. So let's do some simple drums. One of the things I do, because I usually don't play with the quantize on, but I forgot to turn it off, so I didn't want to stop at that point, is I'll zoom in, set this to free. I'll highlight all those. That's another thing I wish we could get in Koala, though, is where we touch this and it just highlights that row. I kind of like that, or a nudge button or something, but I do this by hand. I'll nudge the hats off just a little bit to give it a, that extra, and then I'll do the same thing up here sometimes with these, the snares, and then I'll just put it a little bit, just a little bit above in front. I mean, just a little bit, you can't do it too much or it might be off. I don't like it that way. So if you do it that way and it doesn't work, then just the easy way to fix it is just put it at 16 Highlight them again, unless you want to sit there and drag them back. It's up to you, really. Hit snap and it'll usually go back. Yeah, it went back to where it needs to be, so. But whatever you want, I'm sitting there just thinking about what I would do next, right?
Well, it's kind of like a little dance, whatever. I didn't really plan this at all. I just kind of going through the, with the flow. But anyway, so you can see how quickly you can put something together. And Neon is just a helpful tool when it comes to warping. I don't think we have too much. I, you know, Cubasis 3 might have warp or the ability to warp something. I'm not sure because I really don't use it, but I just like the way Neon works with it. I think it's a good program when you come into the iPad if you want to use it. I've kept it around and I don't use it as much. Like I said, it was just for base, but now I think I might just, if I'm on the iPad, I might start using it again just for things of that nature. Anywho, this video is 16 minutes of me uh, fumbling around, but it was kind of fun getting to create because I don't do the live videos because I don't have the time and I always make too many mistakes. I'd be on that live thing for like four hours trying to do one short video. Anyway, I'm about to get off. I'm tired. Got a headache. But hopefully uh, you learned something or maybe you found something useful in this video. All right.